I didn't get into this business to have everyone like me all the time. I came in to like make a statement. Hi, I'm Variety Style Editor Jasmine Rosenberg. This is Artisans, and this week we're behind the scenes with Mindy Kaling and costume designer Sal Perez at The Mindy Project. The series, which moves to Hulu for season four, earned Sal a 2015 Emmy nomination. He's made Mindy Kaling, who stars as Dr. Mindy Lahiri, one of the most stylish and brightly dressed women on TV. He's also been styling her looks for the red carpet. We met up with them in Mindy's office, where she explains how she convinced Sal to work on her show in the first place. I had seen Think Like a Man, which was a hilarious movie, but sometimes I would kind of even tune out the hilarious jokes to just focus on how beautiful the women looked, and there's so much dating in that, and I know that I wanted my character to be single and to be dating. And then he met me to chagrin, and I had to like drag him to our offices. <laughs> he had like 10 minutes to meet us, and he was like, what, what, what? That's like, true, I, yeah, it was that I was in the middle of a show, and I have like literally from 9.15 to 9.30, that's all I can come for. <laughs> I feel like I walked into the room, and he was like, yes. And I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna be good, I promise, and uh, my character does this and that, and. One of the first, first meetings, Mindy said she wanted the show to be aspirational. Because I thought, what, what can we do with a show about an OBGYN in the office? And it's really become this another character on the show where we get to have so much fun with it. So what do you consider to be some trademark looks from your show? Like the mixing of patterns and where did that come from? What I think is trademark is the fact that I have so much stuff custom made for me. Because we were always looking for the right set of prints and I mean my aesthetic has always been to use prints because they're better on camera than a solid. My background is custom made so we just found like why are we looking for the right blouse for weeks and weeks when I can just go buy fabric and make it. So for me that, that means and I I think this is so important, this is why I think Sal is such a genius. I'm not the size of like some like a skinny little twig actress, but I have been able to pull off a lot of fashions and trends that I wouldn't necessarily be able to if we just bought something because Sal's making it custom for me. In a contemporary show, you're still custom designing. If it's an 18th century ball gown or it's a t-shirt and jeans, whatever the character wear is as a costume. And what are some of your favorite looks that you've worn? Our season two finale, it was sort of like our Annie Hall, Diane Keaton inspired plaid skirt suit with like the Mindy signature pink blouse underneath. I had to wear it running up the stairs of the Empire State Building. I wore a dress in our Christmas episode from season three. It was a beautiful navy green dress with a plunging neckline, which looks good on pretty much any woman, but a ton of support, so built perfectly for my body, and then had these crystals, had like embellishments on the side that just were so slimming and perfect. And then we've taken that to the red carpet. Yeah, when I went to Cannes this year for my movie Inside Out, Sal designed my like gorgeous gown. And then the black lace dress for the Oscars and the party the next. Right, the, the Vanity Fair Oscar party. I love wearing black to that party. I think it's like one of the only times I wear black and I kind of like it as a tradition in Sal, who usually would steer me towards another color. Color. We do black and there have been two of my most gorgeous gowns. And so do you have like a different strategy for the red carpet as opposed to the show with what you try to wear? I mean, I think Mindy Kaling is a lot more sophisticated and edgy than Mindy Lahiri is. Mindy Lahiri is very sweet. And Mindy Kaling, she's more of a diva. <laughs> I think about fashion nonstop. That's why we have such a good relationship, because like Sunday at 2 a.m., I'm like, oh my God, Sal, did you see the Oscar de la Renta runway show? Did you see what they're doing with like colors this year? And only one other person in my life would be like... Who will be up to answer the email at that hour. But, it's, but I, I think that's the thing, is that we both, beyond our jobs, have a passion for clothes. In life, I'm... Pretty reserved. I have, you know, I, when I'm when I, I wear more of like the t-shirt, jeans, LA girl look, sneakers, sometimes a blazer. Although uh, over the years, and I see you come to work, I'm like, did you have an interview this morning? I'm like, and she's totally done in an outfit at five in the morning. That's if we have a cute guest star there that day, and I want him to think I'm attractive. So <laughs> sometimes I'll bring it. Then Sal and Mindy let us stick around for a fitting for both costumes and some of the looks she'll wear off screen. If you weren't here, we'd be just drop and try. Nothing gives me more pleasure than to see her eyes light up in a fitting. When she doesn't know, you know she loves it. Our fittings are three or four hours long and it's six people and we're going through racks of clothing and I love fittings. So this is actually um, for um, her book tour and um, actually Mindy had seen a version of this um, but it was sort of a sack, sack dress and you know we don't do sack dresses on Mindy. Oh my god. Do you have a particular scene in mind when you're talking about the clothes, or does that come later? We do kind of cast our clothes to match. Clothes to match. Um, have you had any like fashion blunders? On the show, I don't think there's any. Me, red carpet wise, oh totally, because I I like to try crazy stuff. Because everyone tells me I should wear like a long navy dress, and I'm like, I'm not gonna wear that. 
I don't want to take this off, it's so pretty. My character goes through so much, and there's so much that's wrong with what she does. I mean, she's really one of the most flawed and interesting, but sort of immoral, delusional characters. But she always looks amazing. You know, it's very easy if you're a model to throw something on you and have it look amazing. It is much harder to do that when you are like of average American woman size. It's a challenge, and Sal just like crushes it. And the single best thing that I hear is when people come up to me like on the subway or when I'm in the airport or whatever, is girls saying like, God, you, you pull off so many cool things and it makes me feel like I can.